Good day, I thank you so much for taking your time and watching this video because on this lesson, I mean on this video, I like saying lessons, but on this video here, I'll be speaking about how to utilize the Meta Trader platform. So for all those, okay, I do know that there's um, beginner people that like to watch my videos. Most importantly, I do know there's also advanced people that like to watch my content, which means that it's both for beginners and advanced people. But I want you to stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll be speaking of this important notice that I've got for you. But I'm um, stay tuned because we'll be speaking about how to utilize the Meta Trader platform. I'm um, okay, members. So on this video lesson, I want to show you guys how you can get to download the um, Meta Trader platform, how you can utilize it to be able to make a full-time living out of um, Forex trading. Okay. So Meta Trader, let us go to the our Play Store. Okay. Let us go to our Play Store. Okay. So it's somewhere here. Yeah? Okay, here it is. Okay, I just searched it on Meta 3 to 4. You can simply see here Meta 3 to 4. Search it. Then you can start installing it. Okay. You can see it's um installing and it's it doesn't take a lot of megabytes, which is like 4.9, which is like 5 megabytes. You can simply get using Wi-Fi or your normal personal data. But yeah, that was done. Okay, it has installed. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna open this app. I'm gonna open this app so you can simply see what it is that we can do, how powerful this small megabyte app can do to us. Okay. So what happens is that as soon as you start with it, it gives you a, a demo account. It like automatically just gives you its own demo account. But doesn't mean that you can start trading with this. You can there's a lot of options that you can utilize, ne? Like what am I meaning? Um what I mean is that you can maybe get a with, with, with whatever um broker that you'll be using, you can get a if it's IC market or if it's um or whatever broker that you'll be using, you can get a demo account with them. Ne? If not, you don't feel like getting a demo account, you can also get a live account with your broker and then you can connect it to this beautiful app of ours that we're gonna start using for our trading journey. Okay. So I showed you guys how you can get and download this app. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can use it. Okay. So now we are here at the codes. So um you saw well, like as soon as I installed this app, it took us to this beautiful code page here okay could okay i could tab uh, i don't know but yeah this is where you'll get your pairs this is where most of your pairs are going to be you'll find them somewhere here yeah? these are your major pairs if i may say so but if you want more pairs you can simply press here to add pairs and then there's a lot of options okay you can see here it says forex depending on your broker like um there'll be brokers that can say forex as well as stocks and all these things like if i just insert my broker it gives me a lot of options like there's indices there's all these types of things but now because we're using this um demo that we just got here with uh the platform i'll just also show you how you can register your own uh life account okay so you can simply see we add and then let's say now we want euro aud can just press euro aud somewhere here okay it's it added okay then let me go down and show you there we go your AUD you can see the error here so that's how you are gonna be adding the pairs that you want okay but let me show you something cool um let's say now we want to start trading uh euro US dollar so what I'll do is that I'll press euro US dollar and then I'll just say open chart okay so you can see this is the charts on euro or I mean euro US dollar okay what did I do okay euro US dollar you can see this is the charts but if you just press on the charts like this you'll simply see that there's a lot of options like this is the time frame whether you want to change the time from like 15 minutes here simply means that each and every candlestick represents 15 minute like candlestick that you see here it's 15 minutes it, it takes 15 minutes for this candlestick to um appear if you just press here this is 30 minutes and again an hour as you see means that each and every candlestick here took an hour to open and close did you see that so um, there's a lot of options there I want us to take care of. Let's say now you can start by pressing over here. Okay, you can know here, right here. And maybe press delete. So you can start our charts like fresh. Ne? So delete this and delete this. We want clean charts, don't we? You want that? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I had to like, I have to hold this, this camera here and at the same time press. So you can see now that our charts are clean. There's no, you don't see all these, um, indicators the moving averages the rsis and stuff it's just you and the charts okay but one thing that i'm going to do too is that i'm going to show you how you can remove these period lines and how you can change colors to the candlestick to colors that you want but simply seeing um this is the code this is the chart okay when you want the chart simply press here when you want the code press here if you want to change to a different uh, pay you can say AUDSD, then say open chart 
perfect can you see now it has opened okay so that's what i wanted to show you for now but i'm also now gonna dive into showing you what it is that we can do with the setting bar okay so but before we move on to the setting bar i want to show you something cool um there's what we call a crosshair that you can use i'm not sure if they call it the crosshair yeah but i use mostly on trading view that's what they name it so did you see what i actually done i pressed this cross here so you're able to just see um what it is that you want to see so like let's say if you just move this up and down can you see it shows let's see if i want to place a sell stop or a buy or whatever like at a specific price i'll just move this thing and it will give me that exact price on the side can you see but if not even if you want to see the date and time you can just keep on moving it like this it'll show you what time it like the, the the candlestick was at or the date and you'll be able to just get the information that you need instead of you just trying to guess meaning that like let's say if you sell here and you want to place your stop loss somewhere above here you can use this and just see what number it is then place this number in your um stop losses so one thing that i'm going to show you too is that there's a lot of options you can press here simply by pressing here you'll see that there's a lot of um indicators there's a lot of all these things that you can use but i don't use this it's just a lot of them that are a bit complicated for me so there's a lot of indicators in here that you can use if you are an indicator uh, if you trade indicate but my, my members they don't um trade indicators and also i want to show you how you can add the tool so let's say if you want to draw use trend lines trend lines are the, the best and the, the one thing that we use let's say if you just press here and here add an object okay you can see it says add object you can add vertical line horizontal line for the support and the resistance traders trend line and all these um fibonacci tools and all these things that you can utilize okay shapes even rectangle triangle and all these things but what i'm gonna be using now is just like this trend line okay okay now i use the uh, okay yeah i think it's it okay so i just added a trend line somewhere here can you see there's a trend line and you can just play with it place it wherever you want to place it and what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to come here edit it so you can just play around with it like you can choose the color that you want it to be in you can choose how thick or thin you want it to be in and all these things can you see so this is your trend line and you can see it says time frame all what you can do is that you can also press here and deselect the time frames that you don't want it to appear at meaning that if you press on um daily press on daily and you say okay let me show you this okay okay let me just show you a quick example let me just say done okay can you see this trend line that's here this red one okay this one it's gonna now appear on daily let me just go on daily it will now appear some okay just that it's small but here can you see it will now appear but if i just um select it ne, then i'll go to the setting okay if i just select it then i'll go to its settings yeah okay right here and i deselect on daily i deselect it on daily and i just say okay what will happen is that when i go on daily it will now not appear okay it won't appear but when i just drop down to the one hour it will appear can you see here it is can you see it appears so what i've done is that let's say if you have daily um trend lines you can have them on daily but when you drop down to four hour you move like they don't appear on four hour when you drop down to one hour that way you can have like cleaner charts and you won't have like a lot of lines on your platform okay that's the most important thing not complicating your platforms and this is simply how you delete it if you want to have another one okay okay now i want us um to focus on the settings like how we can play around with the charts okay now i want us to focus on how we can play around the chart so let's say now you want your charts to be something like and after this i'm going to show you guys how you can work with your um how you can update your accounts let's say insert your life account or open another new demo i don't know but um let's say now you come here by settings okay so you enter settings you'll be able to see all these different types of settings then right? advanced mode okay order sounds like this is like let's say if you're placing an order you wanted to have the sound that goes like power i don't know but here yeah, you will just play around with them and see and um we can see that how window show volumes show three levels firstly i'll just start off by removing this three levels and then independent graphically created okay independent charts it's okay show period separators okay this I'll, i removed this period separators that those lines that appear on the charts and ask price line ask price line um it's it's it's, it's almost like let's say when you the the, the sell line or the the, the bed line you know those things okay let me just show you guys quick a quick example like what happened is that okay, did i just say okay yeah that the, what's left here is the grid i'll just show you guys how you can quickly remove this so let me go in settings can you see there's a red line here at the top now if you don't want it to appear you can simply just come here by settings 
and put it here as press like you just deselect it then it's gonna it's not gonna appear it's just gonna be the the blue line do you get that so now let us get into the most important thing these are not important the most important one is getting the charts to be a bit clean so what i'm gonna do is that okay our background is black you can see our background is black so what i'm gonna do is that i'll just say you can be green on black background is black so i'll just go to the grid and make it be black okay and then what i'll do is that the vol okay i'll just go to bar up make it be green i want to show you how you can have the green as by Okay, green bar down, make it be red. Okay, bull candle, it's up, make it be green. Bull, okay, okay, it's green. Bay candle, make it be red. Okay, bay candle. I don't know, I think that's red. Okay, I, I think this should be red. And chart line, okay, it's okay, bed line, stop levels and all of that. So what I will do is that, I'll just sit down. Let's see how our charts look. I hope they're looking as I thought. Okay, you can see this, okay can see what i've done to them now you can see the background is black the the candles the re, the green candles is, is is the buy candles the red ones are the sell candles so now you can see that it's clean and there is no grids like it's just us and the charts you can simply see it's us in the charts so let me just do this so you don't see the the ask press line that i was speaking about let me just deselect it okay let me go back to the chart Okay, you can see that line that red line is now gone so you can simply do this again and have a white background for the ones that prefer white backgrounds okay let me say background uh, background white okay done can you see i said white background so now i'll just see this can you see okay this is the white background eh? but you can simply see that the the price on the sides is now it's not visible it's because we said the foreground should be white too so i'll just make it be black Okay. Um go back to colors. Uh foreground. Can you see? Make it be black. And grid make it be white. Because now it, it won't appear on a white background. You know. Then can you see I'm, I made um grid be white, I made the foreground be black. So let's see. Can you see how it is now? Now the charts are simply like the background is white, the green candles are there, the red candles are there too. So and you can even see the price uh, it's appearing nicely here so now i want us to jump into the accounts like how you can set up your account and start trading on this platform of ours okay so let us take a look at this menu okay let me just quickly explain this menu quick okay this is the code so you get your setups your, your pace your trading pace um this is your chart where you want to go into your chart right here this is your trade, so you're gonna see your balance, your equity, your running trades, and all that. Obviously, it's a demo account because I just got it now. This, okay, this just shows you your history down here. It shows you your history, and these are just like news and stuff. I don't normally use that. So let me just jump into the setting here. Manage accounts, okay? So you can simply see that this is uh, obviously a demo that just was created now. So you can simply press here by plus, and then if you want to let's say um add an existing okay not existing but add a life account that you just recently opened what you will do is that you will just come down here log into an existing account and then you search your broker's name normally i use ic markets i've got an account with ic markets so i'll just say ic markets okay i see markets so you can simply see that there's like different types of um server names you can say it's, you see it says server life server or, i mean life 01 life 02 life 03 and all those things uh so what it normally changes like it's not the same i have like different a lot of account like three accounts not a lot three accounts and they all they all have different server names the one is life 03 the other one is life 17 and all those so even your one is going to be different from I, I don't know but your one is going to be its own unique one so you can simply say select your one let's say i see my life 05 for instance life 05 you'll have your details and it will be sent to you by your email in your email in it will be sent to your email like the details that are going to be sent will be like your login they'll give you a login number which is like i think it's a five digit number it will give you um a password and you can just t change the password in your dashboard on your broker and obviously you can say if password or not and the server the most important thing is understanding the server that you're going to be utilizing okay the server so let's say now we are done then you sign in once you do sign in okay but let me just go back okay you sign in it's going to take you to a page like <clears throat> it's going to show that it's a live account you have signed in and everything and it's going to take you to a page like this where it's going to appear so let me just come down here and speak a bit about this and how you're going to place the trades okay there's obviously a demo account 
which I okay yeah but let me just so once you are here you'll be able to place threads okay so placing threads would be like let's say you just come here okay or oh, not even here let me just go back down to here let's say now you want to place a thread on euro US dollar like currently I'm holding a short on it let's say you say euro US dollar and then you say new trade you can simply see here um it says instant execution here's the lot size which is the amount that you want to um go like enter this trade with and here's the pip, the stop size i mean the stop loss value and the take profit value so meaning that if you are selling it now you'd obviously pick the instant execution but if you want to sell it like and um, buy it when it has went lower to a, a specific point there's a bit more advanced i won't speak more about this for now i'll explain them maybe if you guys uh, want to know about them uh, let, let, let me know and then i'll make a video about them and you can simply see these different order types which i teach about this the different order types and <coughs> let's say instance instant execution um you can simply change your lot sizes here so obviously if you have a small account you won't be using such um a lot size if you have a big account yes you'd be using it so for instance let us just stick to 0 comma 10 lot sizes okay 0 comma 10 so let's say now you sell the street May your order is placed and you can simply see that your order is now running here okay your trade is not placed so to insert your stop loss you can simply go back to the chart okay sorry i pressed that you can simply go back to the chart okay you can simply go back to the chart okay and um okay well it's going well and you can simply see that okay no um i want to place my stop loss maybe somewhere here Using this crochet that I spoke about, this one here that you just pressed, you can simply say, okay, I want to place my stop loss somewhere around here. It's the specific peeps. Obviously, you're going to have to analyze and have targets and stop loss according to what you have seen. And you let's say you place it, and this is your unit, 1, 1, 2, 400. Let's say 1, 1, 2, 400. Then you go in here, you say modify. Then you insert it here, 1, comma. Do you guys still remember? Okay, I think I do one comma okay no one comma one two four hundred okay then you press on modify then you'll simply see that the stop loss will appear okay i placed it there but now it doesn't appear because we put it off here i think let's see we put it off here so let me just say uh show trade volume levels did i press it trade levels um there we go three levels it's off so you have to put it back on so what i'll simply do is that i'll put it on and then i'll go back in the charts and you'll see here is stop loss and you can simply do the same with the take profit so that's how to place a trade with metatrader for platform i believe that you guys got value from this video thank you so much for making it up up until the end and for all those that have learned something please do tell me what it is that you have learned and for the ones that already had this knowledge please do let me know um maybe something that i've skipped that can also help others that um maybe didn't get to get that um fact so thank you so much for watching and the important thing that i've been wanting to tell you is that like i've been getting a lot of dms a lot of um comments a lot of things that messages that people have been telling me that they want like something that is like a step-by-step -step guide that's going to help them be able to learn the markets which i already had but now I'm be, i've made it i've improved it into being something that will be dropped in just a single platform whereby you'll be able to get that and have it like at your own be able to watch these video materials or the course that i do have at your own time and pace so what i will do is that just keep on following me because i don't have a specific date that i'll tell you i just want you guys to be looking out for it which will happen during this month though during this month on the month of july so one thing that i do want you to do is that um simply what you can do is hit, hit the link in my bio get to my telegram channel channel and just join make sure that you're able to be updated when i do drop the the, the information that i want to be giving most importantly you can also follow me on instagram i'll just put my handle somewhere down here which if you don't want to be down here it's um this and then you'll be able to also see what it is that you can get from my post so i thank you so much please do have a phenomenal day or night depending on what time frame you're looking at you're watching this video from the siva mutupi